in Tallahassee, Tallahassee, Florida, where, as we can see, there's still reason to wear a hoodie. Mola. Well, Irma seems to be passing through Florida, making its way out, but state officials stress that there are still significant risks and we are not yet in the clear. Here in Tallahassee, as you can see, conditions are wet with the occasional wind gusts, but we really seem to have dodged a bullet here in Tallahassee, especially when you compare to what we've seen in other parts of the state. Historic floodwaters are raging through the streets of downtown Jacksonville. And we have the St. John's River literally bringing white caps. Irma's storm surge has pushed the St. John's River to heights never seen before. It's bad now. It's going to continue to get worse. Nearby Atlantic Beach is also taking a beating from fierce winds and floods. Most roads are impassable for anyone who tried to ride out the storm on the barrier island. Rain from Irma started falling in Tallahassee Monday morning. Evacuation orders were voluntary here, but from the look of the roads, it seems many people left town. Hurricane Irma made landfall in the Florida Keys early Sunday. This morning, evacuated residents waited in line to get back home. So now we're trying to get in, and unfortunately, they're just not letting us in. Irma weakened as it tracked north, but still punished millions of people along Florida's Gulf Coast. Power is out for about 6 million customers, and at least 200,000 residents are in shelters. In Miami, 100 mile per hour winds snapped at least two construction cranes. Lincoln O'Berry is surprised nearby residents weren't evacuated. These cranes that are 45, 50 stories up, if they fall, they have the potential to go three or four blocks. Cleanup is now beginning in some areas and will likely be days before the full extent of the damages are added up. But some residents are breathing a sigh of relief that Irma was not the catastrophic storm that many feared. As we mentioned, risks are still present for residents in Florida, but now a new risk and a new threat for residents of Georgia as Irma begins to move into that state. Georgia is under a state of emergency, and more than 100,000 people there are currently without power. Speaking Back to you. Yeah, Mola, Jeff Michael here in Los Angeles. Speaking of no power and so many without it, any estimates on when the lights might come back on? Well, we got about six and a half million people throughout the state of uh, Florida here uh, that are currently without power. That's residents and businesses uh, and uh, states, neighboring states of Florida have deployed some of their utility mm -hmm. uh, crews down here to try to help and uh, expedite the restoration process. But uh, officials in Florida say it could be weeks, weeks before the entire state has power again. Yeah.